Welcome back yet again. We are swapping this into my E46. The last video, I showed you an issue I was having with the oil pan. Oil pan. And the way that the oil pump mounted. Oh, look at this little floppy piece of shit. Look at this floppy piece of shit. Look at this fu- I'm going to show you within this video how I corrected the problem. Let's do it. So, I went from that amount of chain slack to now this. That is much better and within spec. If you look closely on this side, you'll see the chain tensioner actually doing its job. Watch. See that? We now have a properly tightened oil pump chain. I'm going to show you what I've done to correct that. Okay, so in the last video, I showed you we had a slope in this base right here, which the oil pump mounts to. So what I did was, I went here and I sliced, there was a weld right here, to the side of the pan, directly to this piece. I cut the weld to give me a little bit of play down here, and I grabbed a hold of this piece with a pair of ice grips, and I pried it open, and I wedged this bolt, there's a bolt in there, underneath it, and that's holding it up. The bolt is in there pretty tight, but I'm going to actually have it welded. To the pan down there to hold it in place. I also currently have these bolts sandwiching all together because right now we have a nice even 29 millimeters the whole way around this. So that corrected the sealing issue. I was worried about that mostly. Before this happened, I actually discovered that this post right here was about two millimeters too low compared to the rest of the stuff. So simply by taking a copper washer like this, this is roughly one and a half millimeters. Putting it right on here to space up the oil pump, that alone solved the chain tension issue. But I wanted to get this part as flat as possible so it would seal and keep oil pressure in my engine. I'm going to have this piece welded back here. I'm going to have it re-welded there. And I'm going to also have the head of that bolt welded to the bottom of the pan to hold this at a nice flush 29 millimeters. And here we are, back from the welder. Now, if you remember properly, this spot right here was around 27 millimeters. 28.9, roughly. So, I brought it up about 2 millimeters, which that makes a big difference. 28.9, 29.02, 29.3, as you can see, we're just a lot better flatness wise. Now, this side, go to this post here, measure it. As you can see, that's 26. So, I'm going to show you the oil pump installed without the shim there and with the shim, okay? So, now with the oil pump installed, this is without the low side shimmed. You can see that play down in there. We now have a copper washer on top of that post directly underneath the oil pump here. It is roughly 1.5 millimeters. That has brought the oil pump up this way. Now here is the current chain tension. As you can see, that is much better. If you look closely down on this side, you can see the tensioner actually doing its job. You don't want it super tight and you don't want it super loose. This could possibly stand for maybe a, a touch tighter. Nothing more though because there is actually a spec in how much play you should have. I feel like this is pretty much close to spot on. Now, not only was the oil pump originally tilted forward, but it was also too low to the right. No wonder why there's so much slack in my chain. Now, as you can see also, that surface is actually pretty flat to the oil pump down in there, okay? That is going to help seal it up properly. As before, there was a visible gap between the pump and that mating surface. There was something else I wanted to show you. See my oil pump, how there's kind of a, a indentation or a groove cut into it? That is from this bolt. As you can see, the head of it has been machined down to fit inside of there. We have this little wall right against the pump. I had to remove material off the pump too so it would fit. This bolt being steel, directly against aluminum, it was cutting right into the pump. So I took a piece of steel and made my own little washer to help clamp the pump down without damaging it. Mm -hmm. 
just like that. So it seems that I have solved the oil pump chain dilemma. Do I forgive the company? No, I do not. This was your second attempt to make this oil pan right, and you still foiled the attempt. Everything seems to be working out. That is typically how things can transpire as long as you are consistent and do not give up. And there we have it. I do believe I solved all of my issues when it comes to this oil pan. That is awesome. I can make further progress and get this engine into my car as long as the compression tests will. So, part number four of the swap series, I'm going to be doing a final assembly of the engine on the stand. I am also going to be doing a, a compression test before it goes into the car. So basically, the next video is going to show me putting on this oil pan, modifying the oil pump to make work in this swap kit, and we'll discuss the company and what all they offer. The customer service, once again, was outstanding, but that still does not make up for the fact you messed up for me twice now. It happens, I understand, but don't try to say that you're pretty certain it's something I'm doing wrong on my end or it's a mechanical issue on my end because that was not the case. You messed up. So yeah, with that being said, that's all for this video. I'll see you in part number four of the S62 swap into my E46. See you guys then.